Hey guys, Tachio here and I'm on Skyblock 1 um, doing a tour on an island um, you probably know him on <coughs> and um, the forums at lights as Lightside but yep, I'm on the island of DJ Mr. Funny Man um, as well as other um, island mates of his um, Oli Reynolds um, the tone mine the to ah uh, whatever <laughs> I'm sorry about that um the tone mini ta I'm not sure how you pronounce that but I do apologize for you uh, uh, to you that I can't pronounce your name but um yeah it's kind of hard to know if this is pr supposed to be pronounced by syllables or by um. Or is it Thatho Thaton Minor XX and then JP Revello and Tom Sella 7? So I do apologize to you. Um, not good with pronouncing names, but I think I got the last one. I, it's, I'm not sure if it's Thaton Minor or Thatone Minor. But yeah, um, at least you'll be recognized in this video. So let's start with um, the spawn points. So they got a beacon here with haste and regeneration. That's good for um, building stuff. And we can see a big or a huge um <coughs> version of light sides pumpkin farm from here. And there are some rules on the island. So report anything we need to fix on the island tell us if anyone seems to be griefing if we drop anything important please return it um, report if anyone is somewhere they shouldn't be and if we are building please do not get in our way and um, that's good those are good island rules um, and then um, check out the shop give us feedback which probably will be on this um, video so please don't grieve <coughs> respect our island and I will definitely enjoy my stay here and donations I only have this so I, I do have ah come on I need to stand up here I guess it won't accept it or is it full but yeah um, they got their first diamond block here as memorandum or a memory of their island and yeah I got lots of other stuff <coughs> and they got a map of this uh, two maps um, I'm right there I'm not sure what this is but it looks like a gold farm crop an iron farm um, this is probably the pumpkin farm this is a big statue and the others is not sure what this is what that is but we'll just head over and check it out I think this is the legendary um, ship build they um, shown on the forums before so let's check it out um, this is a big automatic pumpkin farm so as you can see it goes way down there it's really big um, his design is also um, good if you want to um, use that design you can also do that because it's really um, easy to expand um horizontal wise as well as um vertical wise so yeah um he has a good or a big collection point down there and later on we'll sh I'll, I I believe he has an open storage room right there with an AFK pool but yeah let's head over here um he's got uh they got a big tree farm here which not sure if they have a limit 
for that so let's be careful here if I can go over here oops and see if they do but it looks like um, creeper just fell down and yeah they don't have um, controlled tree farms so these um, this island this tr the island I mean these trees will grow as big as these um, oak trees are notorious if you if you're lucky enough to get a big oak tree growing so um, if you find this message saying dolphin <laughs> I think they're doing some um, mini games when they're online you found minor super secret signs so now shh <laughs> that's fun and then I think this is their ship that we saw on the map um, it's more of a battle cruiser I think or a cruise ship probably let's head over here and see if we can drive this nope we can't get inside there um, but we can probably use this nope not this is probably the engine and we can do the Titanic right here but I'm doing it solo so it's impossible to do so if there was someone else uh, with me then that would have been um, a Titanic moment but yeah this is kinda cool they got the beds uh, lounge area where you can enjoy your drinks um, wish there was a window here so that we can enjoy the view and I'm stuck here and I'm not sure what this uh, this is the bathroom so that's the toilet bowel sink um, as you can see there's a uh, toilet paper there um, yeah it's kinda looking good hopefully we can get in but nope we cannot so they got storage as well this is the kitchen the cabinets here a sink here a brewing stand or probably a um, um a what you call this drinks mix mixer yeah and they got a jukebox here and what's that i think those are the um what you call this the the f the ones that are responsible of making the boat go f uh, forward forgot what those things are called i think those are um turbines or is it i think it's turbines or the, the ones with the uh, fan looking things the rotating things at the back so that's a good that's a good um, what you call this design if you wanted to make a boat here or on the on your island um, it's called the SS Kriniverse so that's pretty amazing they got the antennas for that so that they can communicate with others that's that's cool and we got a beach here so we can relax and um because light side needed a place to put it and this is the only skyblock marina that meet that met what he needed get it to me nope i guess it's uh in um a joke for between them but if you guys um get what these are saying and um, just do comment below and tell me or if not then it's still okay and mommy why is there a huge boat at the beach because they can do that yeah I'm kinda liking it so let's just relax for a bit here mm -hmm. um, hi sheep they got uh, multicolored sheep here for their designs or for their materials um, sheep farm um, bottom layer mansion and chicken farm and they got a second beacon right here I think they got more than two and yeah um, there's a dinner bone mushrooms um, 
kind of cute and they're upside down um, hugging the floor and what else is there to see um, this is a big island and I'll just go down to the bottom after I have finished looking at this massive <coughs> cactus farm this is a very massive cactus farm as well as a very big um, iron farm this is nice it's pretty basic standard um, build however they expanded it by two iron farms in one so that um, the iron golems coming from here will still drop down there into the lava which doubles their production and this is still big right I didn't um okay so per hour just over 1.5 million that's how much they're earning um, they got they got the statistics for this so let's use this uh, 45 stacks of redstone 26 total length of is it layers or 26 length or oh, or 26 this way not sure how many layers there is total width is 17 so 17 is this total height is 195 so 195 divided by 2 is I am not good with math so that's around 2 or right, we can just do that um, 200 divided by 2 is 20 right 200 no 100 200 divided by 2 is 100 minus um, is it almost 100 layers so there's at least 100 100 layers here and 100 layers there so that's big uh, that's a big pumpkin farm um, I usually do 40 layers um, that's at least 80 in height and then total number of slimes killed 342 that's probably for the sticky pistons um, if you have um, looting sword 3 then that's gonna help you out because um, if you don't have looting sword you can still kill them but you won't maximize the drop rate for the slime ball so there's 1116 um, slime balls used for that so that um, I think that's the same um, number of um, sticky pistons or the pistons used so 1116 1116 so yeah uh, amount of stone and glass is 30,000 that's huge <laughs> if you don't have the capital for this then yeah, um, you wanna buy and huh? change to melon farm on Saturday to 2014 to change get to get the dollar specs, divide the cash gain now by two thirds, and uh, that's approximate. So, if they did a melon here, they would get two thirds of this, but still, that's not bad. Um, when the pumpkin price was nerfed so total iron ingots used is 1865 well I guess this uh, where was that this iron farm um, helped out and total amount dirt used is 2232 total spent on resources is 13 million so yeah it's a big um, investment if you want it to look like this um, you can cut the what you call this cut the capital um, drastically if you're u just using um, just plain solid box or not get fancy like this but yeah I kinda like this it's you can see everything here um, as well as in the sides and can see what's happening inside so yeah that's 
pretty good concept for this pumpkin farm. So in total bosses need to complete these one. Not sure what that means, but yeah. Um even more verge. <laughs> Hi. And yeah. <coughs> and yeah, <laughs> that was kinda uh, uh special thanks to Hunter Django, I Pro Yoda at Lord Disquali, no thanks to JP Trevelo, who even thought I told him to stop, he still stole pumpkins. Um, yeah, uh, when I was starting in the forums, my IGN or my forum name was Disquali, but then um, the forum or the forum mods um, kind of opened up the name change for the forum, so I um changed my name from Disquali to Tachio um so that um, my in game name or Minecraft name is the same as my forum. So yeah. So let's see if there's any notable signs here. Um do not remove. So I'm going to tell you the story of my farm. Specs of the farm are on the other side. I see why he did that. Um, where, um, see what I did there? Well, let's get started. Hunter Django post picture of his farm on the forums. I was impressed, so I set out to improve his design and make it more efficient. Um, that is just what I did. It took two days to perfect my design, then the build started. I was broke. We had uh, s another small farm, but that didn't yield enough money to support the build. I saved up for about two days. I spent all of that money as soon as I started, and it w there it was, the birth of this monster. It took over one week of intense labor to pull, <coughs> put to that, to pull this off. That is right, no fly. Then I Pro Yoda came along, donated me up to commander without me even knowing that's how you know you have a real friend it was 99% done with this build when that happened or I was 99% done um, I stuck to my promise throw I completed the whole thing without fly try doing that don't I was joking <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for reading um, love you Yoda Dave, aka Lightside, special thanks. Yeah, it's kind of nice for people to leave um, signs of how they made this. Um, if you have uh, a good story behind how you come up with this, it's, it's kind of a good thing to, um, even though this was a long, um, long line of, of sign boards. At least he's got everything here rather than just um, um, people repeating or asking him the same questions all over and over. I guess this will this story will um, shed some light if you still have um, questions about this farm <laughs> and that's kind of neat so I think these are airplanes right? Yep, these are airplanes. Cool. Didn't see them at the start, but yeah. So these are um, cobblestone. Not sure what. Oh, I think these are the um, symbols of which um, army you are in. So they're the, on the cobblestone army. And yeah, this design is awesome. So. Um, there. I think this is uh, not sure if this is an albatross or a triple decker. Uh, not familiar with this, but if you have played some uh, World War Two or World War, yeah, World War Two um, air airplane um games like um, I think I played Red Baron, which was an old, g a very old game. Um, it had um, the gameplay was you were flying a 
a plane and then um, try to win the war so this is their one two beacons right now I c as I can see and gold form which is covered in glass which is kinda cool and and yeah um, they even um, decorated the drop point and not sure if they I think they the zombie pigmen are killed when they drop here so that's a good idea gold farm and I guess that's that um, where's their mansion I think their mansions right here right is this the mansion mm, I think this is the mansion can't get in let's try to find a way in uh, what's this I can't step on it so yeah this must be their snow farm I guess and this is a house mansion type with their storage here pretty good um, they, I think they have everything in there so that they can continue building up I won't show you guys the bottom first but let's see if we can get inside <coughs> um, I th nope this is a chimney uh, innovative using nether brick I guess I think inside there yep there's a nether nether um, block there that, ke that keeps the fire going and there's no way inside this so we can just look around it looks furnished and it's looking awesome so yeah I, I think we can go here nope nope um, yeah I won't be spending more time trying to break in um, let's head over to the second um, to the island fun way to the island so let's check it out here um, this is their mushroom layer I guess not sure why there's only one I guess they harvested it harvested most of it and a roller coaster where's the roller coaster there's no um, there's no mine cart no yeah um let's head back here quickly and they got a sugarcane farm here it's it's in in circular fashion it does um seem fancy but but yeah it does take a bit of redstone and i got stuck somewhere in the water thing what's that what is this water um a failed squid spawn oh s they were trying to get squid in here so yeah I guess the mob um, rates um, are lowered so mobs won't spawn in but this is awesome this um, this walkway design is awesome um, it they d they forgot I think to, to put the water here so but still this if you're just walking like this and you're in this island it's a good um, it's really a good um, what you call this impression if you're on if you're seeing this the first time and what's this sugarcane farm chest has items chest less light off is empty so this is an indicator um, if the chests are um if the chest are or has items inside so this chest has stuff i think they're gonna be um they're gonna they're gonna link that there not sure or they're just sticking to this storage so that's a good way to do that um <coughs> again this is probably um, light sides um, pimped up sugarcane 
um, design. Um, it does look good, however. And, well, I'm not um, into um, big designs. However, if you do want to pimp it up like Lightside does with his designs, you can use this. He has tutorials on making this. However, if you don't have the money and want just to start a compact one, I also have a tutorial for the sugarcane farm, which is also automatic. But yeah, um, once to each design because if you are like light side who just wants everything big, then this is the build for you. And yeah. I'm not sure if he has already released his tutorial for this and I do apologize to Lightside if I've kinda given you guys a preview on that so yeah um, let's head over here he's using a semi-automatic um, crop farms so yeah this is almost the same design as one on my tutorial um, you can also use it for nether wars however instead of dirt you use um, soul sand so this is also a good money making crop however it does take a bit of a big investment for the soul sand as well as the nether wars so yeah um, this is um, the crop form the semi-automatic one and not sure what this is oh this is the the I think this is the automatic um, crop form you just stand here well I can't st well I can you can stand here um, activate this pressure plate and then just right click and plant your crops these dispensers will just um, well I can just make a tutorial out of that so that I won't waste your time explaining everything here but this is an automatic um, crop farmer where the piston will push this um, s dirt up and then harvest it for you while you're just standing here and then when that does when it um, pushes the crop out you picked it up um, it's either carrots, wheat seeds or um, potatoes yeah, it goes to your inventory and just um, hold your right click so that you can plant the next crop and then bone meal from the dispensers will um, automatically let the crop grow quickly and you can repeat that process as fast rather than just waiting for crops to um, grow like this so I'll probably make a tutorial for that later and uh, yeah <coughs> so this is a semi-automatic furnace um, it's a big one so it does use a lot of hoppers and comparators and redstone as well as chests um, it's almost the same as mine but this is pimpified um, as the, the term is used widely by light side so yeah um, th they uh, have a series of hoppers leading to um a lot of stuff so maybe he'll um do a whoops he'll do a um tutorial about this and i do sorry if i'm kind of giving a preview to you guys before he does the tutorials and yeah i guess that's that for this platform not sure what this is oh this is the furnace where they make the wood into charcoal I guess yep they, it does so are we done with this layer um yeah we I pretty much covered this layer just wish there was a minecart at the bottom nope darn it but yeah you can see that um, this island is looking pretty good and what is this not sure what this is um yeah, let's head up here and see what this is. I think it's just for design. Or or 
it's not finished yet. Yeah, I think so. I think this is gonna be some... Not sure what this is, but I'll just leave it to light side to um, make a comment um, later on because I don't want to assume what's going on there and then people were saying light side why didn't you haven't you finished this and then later on uh, light side will be asking finish what so yeah <laughs> I'll just leave it as that so this is this looks like a villager breeding um, contraption um, I've seen one and not sure who made who made it but the villagers go here um, the villagers are here there's one over here that's in this um, container so that the villagers hill here will breed the babies will just run around here get stuck and then when they grow up they just get pushed up pushed up and then pushed here and then into here not sure if they discontinued this because I've seen that their iron farm is how you call this is finished so not sure if they're um, doing any more um, villager breeding at the moment but yeah this is the storage area for his pumpkin farm so as you can see it's quite big and yeah and the concept was from hunter Django but improved by light side um, dr. funny man and this is open so we can get in yay um yeah so there's an AFK pool here which um, supposed to be working but right now it isn't and there's a series of hoppers running along and then feeding it to these um, chests so yeah again this is the pimpified version of the storage um, storage for the automated pumpkin farm um, still uses the hopper clock and then a pulse limiter on this and and yeah <coughs> it's kind of extensive but it does work for this huge of a build so let's head back um i think this is for design but which way is out out here so yeah that was um interesting the what you call this the these this redstone ladder powers up most of the stuff uh, up here as you can see um, redstone ladders right there and redstone running across so that it would power all of them pistons up when it fires so yeah um, he, he also has a tutorial for that on his pimpified um, automatic pumpkin farm so not sure what these are saying work in progress fill in with snow so I think they're still working on this not sure what but they still have lots of and I'm experiencing FPS drop for some reason I'm just gonna stay near this and they got a s manual pumpkin farm so um yeah i think this was their first pumpkin farm so it's kind of inefficient in a way however if you're just starting out and then um experimenting on pistons redstones and pumpkin farm then this was uh, um one of the i guess experiments that they would do so just switch on this I guess and then when the pistons um, pushes the pumpkins off they just run here or do they have um, hoppers at the sides nope they don't so um, I guess they were just running around like so then picking up 
all of the pumpkins and that's kind of tiring if you're doing it like for every um, 30 minutes but you still get a lot of money from this as well as I guess that's that for that they also um, had this layer for that however I'm guessing um, it became a hassle and a tedious work to collect all of those pumpkins so let's f look at this I'm guessing this will be a maze of some sort but not sure if this is a shop so large pushback not known when will be done maze for now only warning watch out for mobs so if I do encounter mobs here I'm gonna scream like a girl and run outside but good thing there's no mobs right now dead end turn around so this was supposed to be a maze and it's gonna be looking awesome and once it's finished not sure if they're still continuing on doing so but yeah this is one um one project that if um, if it was done then um, it would be cool because if you if this wasn't um, if the light levels are at 9 10 well not sure where I'm getting light from oh jack-o-lantern I think from this this is jack jack-o-lantern which is also like a glowstone but from here there is zero or little um, light level so yeah um, s uh, mobs can spawn right here and then kill you probably but yeah this is gonna be a good um, fun way to uh, have a mob platform and I was kinda sad that there's no minecart available on the um, what you call this on the transport system so yeah um, but still this is a very good island and hope you guys um, find inspiration in it as well as see a live um, pimpified light sides um, pumpkin farm um, I think their warp is always open for you guys to see in skyblock one um, and yeah I guess that's the end of this tour I'm not sure how long I've been recording but I had fun it, this is one of the awesome islands on skyblock one and yeah um, if you have time just roam around here and then um, go sightseeing because this island um, I guess was the first island I've seen before I started on the what you call this Skyblock 2 island which gave me inspiration to make it a big one like this one so yeah um, again hmm. okay so they leave messages to each other uh, right there so that they can um, they can update themselves as island ma island mates because most of the time um, people use Skype or the forums to communicate to each other however uh, most people don't have Skype not sure why but yeah um, it's good that they are communi communicating with each other and uh, have built this awesome island and I think I haven't seen nope I have been here so yeah I guess that's the end of the tour and I hope you liked it gathered inspiration from this and um, yeah till the next video cheers <laughs>